All sail, she'll take it. All right, fight now. Sir. Could be valuable cargo. Trim the yards off the wind. Proud on every inch of sail. Full sail! Reef the topsails and gallants. Clue up! Clue up! Let the anchor go! Jay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? If Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal, the French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here, in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe... I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. Like rain! <coughs> Shall haunt your dying thoughts. Prize bird. <laughs> Too late. I 
hope I'm not too late. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than we stated. We kept our arm and more importantly, our color. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. But for my loyalty, well... I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. You gave me a second chance. We have been working together for you. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. You live! Attack! Take cover! Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly.
cover shot. Ready to fire. Uh, uh, I'll catch up with you one way or another. Mark my... Uh, 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 uh. Hurry. Kasegawasa will not relent. Kasegawasa? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin. As I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Ship! Run! Run! I have him in my sights. I have as clear a shot as I can get. Ready to open fire! Are you ah! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chain! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. Get the maid sails into the wind! Starts out! Let's get moving! Floating cargo fire! fire. Keep out of my way! She'll run! Fire! Amateurs, that time! Yeah. He's right, sir! He's 
With what we've taken, we can improve the ship, Captain. Anchor away! So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. The manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Hisegawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kisegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about it. Johnson stockpiled powder and shot here. Bless him. to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Segawasa has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. Reef! Shark on sail! Anchor ahoy!
have my gratitude, sir. So long as we hold the old woman. Thank you, sir. I am greatly in your debt. Stop you! They are <coughs> ring for your death! <coughs> for strays! Stop! Let's have a word, Dole. <laughs> it will take more than that to lose me. Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Venerable one, my name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I, I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. I thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born, and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shea Patrick Cormac. Farewell.
attire les Français dans la vallée et qu'on les bombarde de plus. Si on réussit à attirer les Français dans la ligne de mire de la Il ne manque plus que le beau temps pour que je m'amuse. Vous, mes frères, la victoire est proche. Allez, encore un petit effort. to a battle well fought. We better not run out of ale. We better not run out of ale tonight. Tonight we drink to the kings. French dogs. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Let us drink to a battle well fought, dogs. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Tonight we drink to the king's health, dogs. We better not Such run a victory out of requires more rations. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Be proud. I have never seen a finer band of soldiers. The king would be proud. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Let us celebrate this resounding victory. Well fought. Such a victory requires more rations. I have never seen a finer band of soldiers. The king would be proud. Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. 
I'm sure the colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! Unfurl, mates! Let's move! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Soul, but mates, keep her safe while I'm gone, guest. Aye, Captain. Segawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Segawas. Truly believe you can best me, traitor. Templar dog. Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Do not give him any breathing. Templar dog. Truly 
believe you can test me, traitor. Trying to give us the maggot. dog. I have him in my sights. Burn! Dog! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Burn! The <laughs> Templar dog! Climbing anything, shoot him! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? We trained you well, traitor. Kisigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. Uh, uh. Ah! Colonel was heading for the docks. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. Stop.
Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death? Whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide us. Guide us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Unlock the next server, Numskull. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Absurgo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Absurgo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories.
Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. I've got your animus ready and waiting. The first civilization entity known as Juno re-emerged from the Grand Temple in New York in December 2012. Although no longer a corporeal being, she exists as a kind of digital consciousness somewhere in the Abstergo cloud. To accomplish her goals in the real world, Juno uses two types of people. The first is another precursor consciousness that emerges in a human being at random. This person is commonly known as a sage. Juno also holds sway over a group of disciples called the Instruments of the First Will, who believe it is humanity's natural role to serve the First Civilization. Abstergo is currently using the First Will as a cheap and hands-off way of acquiring pieces of Eden and other relics. However, I suspect that the reverse is also true, that they are using our resources to locate objects that will help them further their own goals. I do not trust them, but for now, all I can do is have Da Costa monitor their activities. Juno's motives are unclear. Although she has made one attempt to possess a corporeal body, she appears to be more powerful as a digital entity. Agent Da Costa fears that should humanity ever achieve singularity, a fusion of humanity and machines, Juno would become unstoppable. Ironically, it is Abstergo itself which is driving civilization in that direction. <laughs> 